My name is Gerard Zwier and this is my wife Diane. We've been here nearly 20 years and we're only one kilometre from the Silverdale exit of the Northern Motorway. The house is set back from the road down a long drive which has liquid amber trees on each side. That was why we named the, the house the Ambers or the property the Ambers. Our bed and breakfast lies just 20 minutes north of central Auckland and about 40 minutes from Auckland International Airport. Although we're just a few minutes drive from a local village called Silverdale and less than 10 minutes from the beautiful seaside resort of Ariwa, we're very much situated in the New Zealand countryside. On the first floor, we have the Regency Room, which is a lovely, formal and romantic room. It looks out over the fountain in front of our house and the liquid embers. It has a very nice ensuite with a large shower. Opposite the Regency Room is the French-style Blue Room. This room is a little smaller than the Regency Room, but it has a larger bathroom with a small bath and shower. Both the bedroom and bathroom have beautiful views over the garden down to our native bush and stream. We have managed our bed and breakfast for about 15 years and guests have the choice of four rooms in the house. The two rooms on the next level, the Toile de Jouet room and the Santorini room, can be booked separately or together as a suite. The Toile de Jouet room is again decorated in a very romantic French style. Across the hallway is the Santorini room, which is a little smaller with two single beds and an alcove with a small bed and cot. The bathroom features a beautiful old clawfoot bath as well as a shower. In a separate building across the courtyard, we have transformed the back of the barn into a self-contained area which we call the barn studio or jet. I've designed the interior in a, an Italian barn style. It's a little more casual than in the house and people can make their own breakfast. We provide the produce and they could also, if they wanted, have a light meal there in the evening. There's a table and chairs inside and some lovely areas to sit outside. We get quite beautiful sunsets and there's an oak grove that Gerard planted a number of years ago as well to look at. So it's a very special place. Downstairs in the library and in the lounge, we have wireless broadband internet access, which guests can use free of charge. It's good communication with the people who have been left at home. This is particularly useful for international travellers. Over the years we've had many comments in our visitors book about our breakfasts. We use fresh locally grown fruit where possible. Gerard's cooked breakfasts are always appreciated and his homemade bread is delicious. We use free range produce and serve special Nespresso coffee. We welcome you to our place. We hope you take some time to look at our photos and what we offer here. We provide a very nice tranquil environment in a sophisticated, elegant sort of house. So we look forward to seeing you we hope.